Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2014 on a 14 plate. It's a Citroen Berlingo 1.6 HDI Enterprise. So the Enterprise is the top of the range specification in this van. It is a two keeper from new vehicle. We have just taken it in part exchange off the second keeper. There is no VAT to pay on this van either. So desirable from that point of view. Uh, it has covered 111,000 miles. There is a service history with it. Uh, the cam belt has been done on it as well. We have not put it through our workshops yet. It will go through a comprehensive pre-sale uh, service and inspection. I do know it's got a clicky drive shaft on it at the moment, so we'll get that replaced with a new one. A um, couple of other minor bits and pieces that need sorting out on it, but let's run you through it and see what you think of it, okay? We're gonna start up on the roof. A couple of minor dings and stuff on the roof, nothing major, um, just, you know, wear and tear of a van that's had a roof rack on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, windscreen, the windscreen is all good with no major stone chips that are going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. <coughs> Coming down to the bonnet now, I know it's covered in, you know, we're battling the weather at this time of year, aren't we? So I know it's got water on it, um, but they're not particularly a van that is known for stone chipping up, to be honest with you. Uh, most of the front end on this is plastic, so your bonnet obviously is metal, and then the rest of this front end is all made of plastic. Uh, front end of the vehicle, as you can see, the grills, etc., those are all in good condition. Your passenger headlight unit, that's all in good order. Front passenger bumper corner, all pretty good, you know, if we're being really fussy, we've got a really minor scuff there, and they've just slightly caught it there. Could do with a, uh, a um, touch up stick there. But uh, yeah, no major stone chipping from there at all. If we look just down the passenger side of the vehicle whilst I'm down at this height. Uh, looking down it, it's fairly straight and tidy to be fair. Nothing too much to point out to you down there. Coming around to the driver's side of the vehicle, headlamp unit is all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, that's all good. Now we haven't dressed this vehicle yet. When I say, you know, none of the bumpers have been gelled up or anything like that. It's had a very quick valet on it so I can get photos and a video done of it. So bear that in mind on the video. But uh, as you can see, no scuffing on the front end, driver's side. And then if we just look down the driver's side of the vehicle, actually pretty good to be fair. Again, no major dents or dings. Hubcaps, all of the hubcaps, they're all factory hubcaps. They've all got elements of damage on the hubcaps, okay? Um, so as you can see, scuffed hub, hubcap on it. Uh, it has a budget tire on the front there. That tire looks as though it has plenty of tire tread depth on it to me, probably about six millimeters, but that will be confirmed as part of our pre-delivery inspection. Uh, driver's uh, mirror unit is nice and secure and all in one piece, as is the mirror glass itself. Driver's side door glass, that is all good. Driver's side door, on the whole, all pretty good. There's a couple of minor marks, okay? For starters, the little plastic thing is missing off here. A really, really common uh, Peugeot Partners Citroen Berlingo fault. We can buy the, uh, the cap covers off eBay for pence, to be fair, so that's not a major drama. We do have a little bit of a scratch there. I can't get my nail into it, but I'm not convinced we can get it out, but we can always get the polishing mop on it and see that what we can do on it for you, okay? Uh, driver's uh, side door edges actually aren't in bad condition until you just get down to here and then it's just got some um, some stone chipping on the edge of the doors there. A little bit of a scratch there, again, nothing major. I can get my nail into that one, so I don't think we're gonna get it any better than that. The plastic protective strip down the side of the vehicle, a few minor marks on it, but nothing major. And then just getting down low and looking at your sills. The sills aren't in too bad condition from what I can see. A little bit of something just going on there. I think they may have just slightly caught it there. I think that's fairly easily sortable and something we can get sorted on it for you. We've got a really small ding here. It hasn't broken the paint, but there is something there on it. Okay, so we'll pull that one out here. That driver's side rear quarter on the whole is in pretty good condition. There you, see, you can see that ding there. Let's see if we can get our dent man on that. Um, see what he can do on it for you, okay? 
Uh, drive side rear uh, steel wheel. It's a it's dirty at the moment. Okay, it needs a proper clean. Um, but the hub cover is marked, as you can see. The tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth on it, though. I would suggest about six millimetres. Very similar to the other one. Uh, bumper corner on the back here. A little bit messy. Needs a bit of bumper gel on it. Um, but that will come up okay. Your light unit on the back there, that's all in good order as well. Just give you another view down the side of the vehicle from here. So really it's just that one ding on this side and a couple of minor scratches, isn't it? Rear doors, okay, so rear doors aren't in bad condition, but there are a few bits that need touching in here and here and here so these are all little bits that need touching in okay uh, we will get that sorted out on it for you it's relatively straight on the back end reverse parking sensors as you can see needs a clean as you can see door handle and lock is in good order a bit of scratching behind the door handle it's silver there's some very fine light scratches in the lacquer on the back end of the vehicle Again, nothing major, but you know, there are signs of wear and tear on the van, okay? After all, it's seven years old, hasn't it? It's done 111,000 miles. Rear brake light's not too bad. Opening up the rear doors. So, that one could do with a bit of white grease on it, I think, a bit of WD 40. Inside of the rear doors are showing signs of wear and tear. So your interior, these these things are made out of paper anyway, even when they come out of the factory. So we'll see it's hold there. There's elements of wear and tear on the paintwork on the inside of the rear doors. It's not bad. You know, ply lined in the back, your plastics, you've got a 12 volt power there, look. It's ply lined on the floor. The ply lining's done a job. Again, it's by no means in bad condition. And you've got your three front seats. This one folds down flat. Have a look at the photos online because I've taken pictures of this. This one folds down halfway and obviously you've got your driver's seat with a caged bulkhead behind it. Inside of the sliding door, a uh, sliding door, inside of the rear door here on the back. Again, more elements of wear and tear on the vehicle. Again, this panel's broken, but as I say, it's made out of paper from the factory anyway. It's fairly ridiculous. Uh, and it's lost the ply lining panel off this bit here and uh, obviously there's just signs of wear and tear on it okay door edges though not too bad you know as i say there are lots of kind of very fine scratches on the back end on the back doors okay rear light unit this side that's all in good order bumper corner this side again no scuffing on it just needs good clean and then looking down the side of the vehicle on this side, again, nothing major on it. There is a couple of minor bits I'll point out to you as we get to them. Steel wheel this side, again, factory hubcap with scuffing on it. And tyre on this side has plenty of tyre tread depth on there as well. Lower rear quarter this side, we have a really minor ding here. Fuel flap, as you can see, is a lockable item. Sliding door rail's fine. It's lost a bit of the texture off the top of the sliding door rail. It's not unusual to see that. And then your upper quarter there, that's not too bad. Sliding door, we have a couple of minor dings here on the sliding door. Can you see those? Again, nothing major. It hasn't broken the paint, but they are there. And then just getting down low, looking at your sills. Again, all pretty good. Your protective rubber strip down the side of the vehicle is not in bad condition. And again, some minor wear and tear marks. These sort, these are very sort of indicative of what you've got around the van, okay? They're not major, they haven't gone through the paint, but they are there on the van. Uh, rubber strip down the side, as I say, that's not bad. That just needs a bit of a clean up. Sliding door handle, not in bad condition. Sliding door opens and slides back well and holds into place as you can see in between your doors it's all nice and clean and then just another viewpoint of the back of the vehicle from this angle as well bit of um so your sliding door lower rail here has lost some of the uh it's like got a, a plastic 
protective coating on it. They do wear through over a period of time, so it has got some of that on it. And then passenger side front window, that's not bad. Mirror unit, passenger side and the mirror itself, all good. Door itself, not too bad. Door lock, okay. We've got a little bit of a ding on the side of the door there. A couple of little minor chips there. And then passenger side front wing, again, not too bad. Hubcap, passenger side front, that's again marked. But again, tyres all pretty good. Um, tire wire is all pretty good to be fair um, it will go through the workshop and it will have a 12 month MOT put on it cam belt has been done uh, surfacing has been done but we're going to check all of that okay if I'm not happy with the surfacing then we get them serviced before they go out the door uh, we'll double check your pack fluid at the same time do your homework on that um, we normally have to top those up on it it's like an emissions fluid that nobody ever looks at um, you know, it still needs a bit of a clean up and I haven't even shown you the front of the vehicle, have I? So, I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Door cards in the front, as you can see, there's minus marks on them. Um, nothing major, but there are some minor marks on there. Your entry painted sills, those aren't in bad condition. Carpet on the front, again, could be cleaner, but not in bad nick. Dashboard fascia, again, a couple of minor scratches, as you can see. Uh, seating inside, got a little spider stuck to my camera now. So, ignore this for sale board up there. Seating, as you can see, let's move our camera out of the way. Not in bad condition, not too bad cleanliness wise. Maybe another quick wash would do it, make it look a little bit better. Driver's door, right, needs a new check strap on it. Can you hear that when you open it and close it? Check strap's worn on it, so we'll get that sorted out on it. Bit of dust in the uh, speaker vents here, so those will have to be cleaned up. Entry seals, again, not too bad. A little bit of a ding, minor ding there. Carpet on the inside, it's had us coming in and out of it, so it's looking dirty on the iPhone camera than what it is in real life. Pedal rubbers are all good. Slight bit of wear, I suppose, slight little bit of sag on the driver's seat base, but again, I'm, I'm pulling it to pieces by saying that. Again, steering wheel. Elements of wear on the steering wheel. Uh, they do tend to go a little bit over time, these things do. We have the button missing off the electric mirror switch here. Parking sensor button, headlamp levelers, obviously your vents. We have wipers on this side which is just a, a uh, up and down element um, if i fire it up now so all the lights are flashing and then obviously as it goes through its checks it checks these out and they all go out uh well they don't all go out because the handbrake stays on and the uh i haven't got my seat belt on and there's a door open at the moment in real life now, looking at that, they're not flashing away like it's showing on the video. A bit weird, but there you go. They are just solid red lights. That's obviously something to do with the iPhone video. Um, indicators and lights are on this side. Uh, it is Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music on this van. Uh, you've got an auxiliary point there with a USB port in it. Uh, it has air conditioning as well, as you can see. Uh, we're missing a passenger electric window switch. That's slightly weird, but it's missing. We'll get that sorted on it for you. Driver's one's there, hazard warning lights, and then this is central locking for the back of the van and you've got a fag lighter. Cup holders down there, look in between your seats, it's all relatively clean to be fair. And there we go. So, 111,414 miles. Two keepers from new. Um, overall, not in bad condition. You've got to remember it's a seven year old commercial vehicle, so it's not going to be perfect, but I think I've given you an accurate and a fairly comprehensive video there of what it is there's 60 to 70 photos of it on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering nationwide delivery part exchange and finance uh, if you're worried about our reputation check us out on the internet we are on google uh, linkedin facebook instagram um, check out our reviews on there we've got reviews on the website as well uh, and if you need any further information, give us a call 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. 
Well done, you made it through 15 minutes of me waffling on, but hopefully that's given you a good viewpoint of the van. Cheers.